Hi, I'm Jess Goldsmith here on Adobe's YouTube channel. I am so excited to walk you through this eight part series on mastering text-based design and typography in Adobe Illustrator. I'll be sharing my favorite tips and tricks, tools, and most used skills. At the end of this eight part series, you'll be able to apply these new skills to your work to create really beautiful typographic designs. Before we get into it, I wanna tell you a little bit more about myself and why I'm even qualified to share my experiences with you guys. Well, I've been doing this for quite a while and I've had the honor of working with some really cool brands, working on some really cool projects with those brands and winning some really fulfilling awards on those projects. A lot of my work is focused on typography and lettering, but I'm also an illustrator. So many of the skills that you'll be learning in this series can and will be applicable to illustration and design principles as well. But for this series, we're going to be focusing on them through the lens of typography and text-based design. Just like learning anything else, having a base understanding of what we are going to be doing is super important. In this episode, I'm going to be sharing the absolute basics that you need to know for typography work. This is going to include definitions, the character panel, the paragraph panel, and a couple of extra tips. But if you are not a beginner, this episode may not be for you, but I would love for you to stay tuned for the next ones where we get a little bit more advanced, intermediate, and then expert level. Episode one, the basics. First things first, let's define typography and how that is different from text-based design. Typography is the style and appearance of text or printed matter. It's also the art of arranging and creating type. It's basically giving your text a well-deserved makeover. Text-based design is really any design that has some sort of text in it. This includes both typography and lettering, and some examples of this are posters, advertisements, packaging, apparel, books, magazines, newspapers, posters, billboards, menus, reading cards, product packaging, clothing labels, business cards, advertisements, websites. Woo! You get the point. Let's go ahead and open up Adobe Illustrator to start creating some text. You can do this by hitting the letter T on your keyboard as a shortcut, or by hitting the Type Tool button on your tool panel. Now that you have some text, you can see the Character panel appear at the top of your screen. You can also find the full character settings in the Window drop-down menu under Type. Here you can change the font, font sizing, kerning, letting, and tracking. There are some other settings in here too, but I don't think they're entirely necessary for this lesson, and to be honest, I don't use them often at all. Sorry, Illustrator. <laughs> font and sizing are pretty self-explanatory. And kerning is something that you might hear designers complaining about a lot. We do this because we think that we're better than everybody else. But in reality, the definition and usage of kerning is pretty basic. Kerning is the spacing between characters and letters in any given text. Optical kerning adjusts the spacing between adjacent characters based on their shapes, basically allowing Illustrator to use its quote-unquote eyes to figure out what spacing looks best. Metric kerning is the space between any two given characters, also known as kerning pairs. These kerning settings are usually built into the font and based off of information provided by the font designer. If the font that you're using has metric kerning built in, you can still use optical kerning and... Okay, wait, sorry, I lied. There is a third way to adjust your kerning and it's manually using tracking. With tracking, you can just highlight whatever part of the text you want to adjust for and move that number up or down to customize your kern. I like that. Customize your current. Customize your current. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so let's talk about letting. Letting is the vertical space between lines of type and typography measured from the baseline of one line to the baseline of the next. It's the space between your lines of text. It's pretty simple. There's not much else to it. Okay, on to paragraphs. You can get to the paragraph panel the same way that we got to the character panel. Go to window in the top menu and then scroll down and click on type and select paragraph. This panel is gonna be your BFF for aligning and formatting. These icons control text alignment. You've got left align, center align, and justify. Next up, indents. Adjust the left indent and right indent sliders to add space on either side. You can also add a first line indent to make your first line pop a little bit more. This tool will come in handy when you're working with larger amounts of text. The space before paragraph and space after paragraph option lets you control the gap between your paragraphs. No more weird squished together text. You can also adjust hyphenation. Click the little menu in the top right corner of the paragraph panel to select hyphenation to tweak your settings to avoid awkward line breaks. All right, that's a wrap on episode one. I'm Jess Goldsmith. You can find me online at Chick of All Trade. And don't forget to subscribe to Adobe's YouTube channel. Thanks for watching.